or whatever, screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the mambas. I'm, I'm just, hey, wait a minute. Are you reading the book over there? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to switch. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B. J. Smith, six years old, MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone. We were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee were dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy. Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy. My money. You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warned you. you know, if it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. Right. But because it's you, because we got this, I'm gonna mess with you. Sonny, you got my word. Be in touch.
Skin tight pants and well stretched groin muscles. But see, music has no name. It's about depth and texture and sense of community that emerges from the struggle going on within all of us between man and machine, between the angel and the beast. It's as if Petrushka and Leonard Bernstein were in a ferocious dance competition with switchblades. That is passion, my dear. Um, okay. So it's a bit like just the five of us. What a show! I love Jimmy. He's so cute, even though he looks so young. I'd rather not talk about my complications working with him. I'm a performer. I express myself any way I can, while I'd never attempt to describe just the five of us as anything other than a worshipless pap. I need to support my serious art. It's like stealing a boombox to do live interpretive dance. If I bring joy to people's hearts doing an interpretation of a tree in the park, who is harmed? There is a value I derive from art, as a man, as a creator, and that is this. Never overestimate the dreadfulness of the mass market, the degrading excess of the culture, or the horror.
gets me every time. Especially after the drunken tramp you adopted has wet himself. Oh, say it for me, please. As they say in France, matrice. Please. Not in my house. People that pour themselves out on the altar of commercial security. Enervating about a modern dance performance. That seeing in the future there will be robots will change your life, no matter what your life's like now. I haven't worn clothes since 1982. Clothes are seriously unnatural. Didn't you guys learn anything from the 60s? I had a revelation when I was in holiday in Germany. I'd always felt very constricted. Then it hit me like a slippery fish. Clothes are plain wrong. When you're born, you're not wearing any clothes. When you die, you're not wearing any clothes. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. What if you die at work? What if an enormous piece of machinery falls on you while you're working? Clothes lead to immorality. Nudity stops people from fighting. Have you seen an issue of National Geographic lately? People around the world are nude. You don't want to shoot a machine gun or a howitzer or a flamethrower if you're naked. It could burn or scold in quite a personal fashion, quite frankly. Have you been to the zoo? Animals are naked. If everyone were naked, there'd be no war. Everyone's complaining about crime and the theft of cars in the city. No one's ever stolen my car. No one's ever pickpocketed me. They've never even tried. That's because you're a degenerate loony. If the police were naked, it would set a great example to everyone. You can direct traffic and eat donuts entirely in the buff. Maurice, this kind of immoral behavior is exactly why I'm building the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. Noah had an ark, Texans had the Alamo, and I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50-story statue will be able to... from liberal degenerates, the Welsh. They're the ones responsible. stole his ideas from a movie or a book? Well, yes, I am a mom. My kids are very special. So special, they go to special classes. Now, I, I teach my kids history to give them perspective. Last night, I was telling them about how Magellan sailed around the Strait of Magellan and met some friendly natives that gave him supplies. Um, then he had to kill all of them, and that's an important... some sleep he says <laughs> i have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee this is a disaster 
We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way. I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978, too, but, you know, this isn't going to be a beer and strippers, too. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the wrong way for the wrong reason. You want the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who's that guy from the East? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Now, my morality comes from looking at history and biology and working out what's best for my kids and screw anyone else. That's what this country's all about. I mean, I mean, I saw the hippies. What a load of claptrap. But what's your kid going to do at a school with an... Breathe. 
Thanks for calling. That is an important question. You see, I'm an important person, and I especially think so. It is really important for people to see my form move through space in very tight pants. Or the effect is ruined. Interpretive dance cannot be expressed in baggy clothing. It's like a violin parade. Otherwise, why have a love story with a manatee and the lasers? It's very important. You're kind of creepy. Do not... and the lasers. You, my dear, could use all three. You, my dear, are a philistine. I'm sorry, but this is one of the most degrading, debasing, horrific, unedifying, opportunistic things I have ever done in my life since that whole Rakes Progress lawnmower commercial. I feel dirty, like I just sat in something. You did. Carl Lasquez was taken violently ill. Yes, well, such is the plight of radio. Rather than grumble like Leporello or a taxi driver about my duties cleaning the back seat, I shall bid you adieu. Okay, thanks, Pod. Next, we have a very important guest who doesn't dance like a weird jerk. We'll be back right after this. You're on K-Chat. <laughs> Knights of the Road, here's your stallion. The car for freedom. The car for hot excitement. The car for man who's all against the elements. The pride is back. It's the power of a compact. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we will talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Mr. Edis! Caramia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star, Candy Sun. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I'm locked down on him. And then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you, do you know how they play ping pong? It's Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, if you want. Important. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gift, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Steve Whoa, Scott. The with the newborn babies. When the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And I, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's a bit of a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, the other amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very tried. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get out of here. Sure. Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. 